Hey guys, welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jace Hintz here with you as always, and we're going to be going over uh, beginning steps basically of how to shoot a carp out of a moving boat or a gliding boat or a boat in general, just because it's a lot different style of shooting. A lot of people are going to be transitioning to fingers instead of a release. And there's a lot of different little things that can just basically help you out. Simple little things you can think about that'll help you execute that shot and get the fish you're looking for. So I'm here with Johnny right now, and we're gonna go over the most basic beginning of how to take your shot and everything. So the first thing is, we got our boat facing this way, we're trolling along, we're looking for our fish. First thing we're gonna do is make sure that we're always prepared with our feet. As you can see, he's already standing sideways, which is exactly what we want so that you're not facing forwards and then you have to turn your body because again, you're in a bolt that's going to be moving and stuff. You don't want to have to move the least amount you can so you don't move as much when you're shooting as well. So he already has his feet set up. The next thing is going to be his fingertips. He's going to make sure that he's right on the edge of his fingertips the entire time while you're watching and everything because if the fish comes along and you're not paying attention, you're going to grab it with your whole hand. When you pull back, you're going to shoot and it's going to shoot way to the right. And Obviously, you don't want to do that either. So uh, basically what you're going to do we got our feet set, fingertips, watching for our fish. As soon as it comes, we're going to pull back and we're going to bend at our waist down so that you don't just drop your arm. Because you drop your arm when you take your shot, you're fighting your bow to hold it down. You're going to miss high and low from just your arm muscles trying to fight your bow up and down. Especially if you have high poundage, it's not going to work very well for you. So you bend at your waist and then the next thing, he's got his sight on there. The first time we're out, we're basically going to, well we're going to shoot here just to make sure we're going to hit it. And we're going to just aim right on with the pin that he has, put it right in the scope hope for the best, and then we're gonna learn from the first one so he hits a little higher, a little low. What you can do then is either move your sight or the simplest thing when you're on a boat is just aim a little higher, a little low. You'll learn depending how far the fish is exactly where you gotta aim. So we got our feet all set up, got our fingertips ready to go. Then we're gonna pull back. Bends at his waist, nice and easy down. Centers it in his, in his sculpt there. Slowly squeezes. There you are. Again, when you take your shot, you can notice he kept his front arm still. That's a big thing. A lot of people, when you're using fingers, can anticipate your shot a lot easier. So when they're anticipating their shot, they end up moving, flinching with their front arm. So make sure you just, no matter what, think front arm staying still, rock solid. Shoot it, follow straight into the animal, because then again, you're not going to be twerking it different directions. We're going to go over one more time. I got Eddie here with me. We're going to take another shot, go over it all, see if we picked up what we were learning. So he's already got his feet set up like he's supposed to. Watching for our fish, everything. Got his fingertips right on the tip, right in the first crease there. Good to pull back. Bends at his waist. Perfect shot, watch it go through. Again, learn from your first shot. If you miss high or low, obviously, you can just move your sight. If you're not using a sight, aim with the tip of your arrow. Exact same way to do it, simple solution. I mean, gotta just adjust on the fly there and Unless you can practice in your backyard, don't shoot into a bag target because you won't be pulling them out very easily or you'll be cutting your bag target. So, again, if you guys got any questions, uh, give us a call. Check us out on YouTube or Facebook. Always can watch the reruns and uh, hopefully see you guys next week.